Hello and welcome back to Ebenezer. We've got a great show in store for you. Coming up, we've got a Bible story where Jesus talks about his authority. And we've got a craft where we make these special Jesus-themed rainbow hangers. But before we get into any of that, it's time for a song. And it's called Come and See by Michael Tinker. Do sing along. Philip told Nathaniel, we have found the one that all of the Old Testament points to as God's son. Nathaniel was doubtful, sat under his tree. So Philip simply said to him, come and see, he's the promised king. found in him she didn't need to look for hope in selfishness and sin so she went home to gather all her family the woman simply said to them come and see he's the promised king come and see life is found from the grave to save us from our sin and we can share with others that Jesus sets us free we simply need to say to them come and see he's the promised king come and see life is found in him come and see he has conquered death and sin to save Well, what a great song. Now it's time for our Bible story where Jesus' authority is questioned. When Jesus entered the temple courts, he began to drive out those who were selling. It is written, he said to them, My house will be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. Every day he was teaching at the temple, but the chief priests, the teachers of the law and the leaders among the people were trying to kill him. Yet they could not find any way to do it, because all the people hung on his words. One day, as Jesus was teaching the people in the temple courts and proclaiming the good news, the chief priests and the teachers of the law, together with the elders, came up to him. Tell us by what authority you are doing these things, they said. Who gave you this authority? He replied, I will also ask you a question. Tell me, John's baptism, was it from heaven? Or of human origin. They discussed it among themselves and said, If we say from heaven, he will ask, Why didn't you believe him? But if we say of human origin, all the people will stone us because they are persuaded that John was a prophet. So they answered, We don't know where it was from. Jesus said, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. Well, what a great Bible story! Now we're going to see if we can figure out what it means for us. And to do that, we're going to need the help of our feathered friend, Zelda. Let's dive into the passage. Why does Jesus drive out the sellers in the temple courts? 
Well, like Jesus says, the temple is meant to be a house of prayer, where people went to go and focus on God and worship him. But these sellers have set up shop in the temple courts and are using the people who visit the temple as a way of making money. Jesus says they've turned the temple, his house, into a den of robbers, because when people are greedily trying to get money out of others, we call them robbers. Well, Jesus isn't having any of that in his house, so he drives them all out of the temple. Why do they want to kill Jesus? Apart from the fact that he's just gone and stirred up trouble by kicking out all the sellers, the chief priests and teachers of the law don't like Jesus, because he comes preaching the good news and telling people how they should be living. These chief priests spent a lot of time reading the scriptures and teaching people, and yet they couldn't understand properly, and they didn't see Jesus for who he was, the Son of God. So when Jesus came along telling people the truth and gathering crowds with his teaching, the chief priests and teachers of the law weren't happy about it at all. However, we're told that even though they were looking for a way to get rid of him, they couldn't find one, because the people hung on every word that Jesus said, and Jesus never slipped up or said wrong things because what he was saying was the truth. Why does Jesus ask them about John's baptism? Well, they start off asking Jesus a question. They ask him where his authority comes from. And Jesus instead asks them whether John's baptism was from heaven or of human origin. Now, you might remember John. We did cover him, and he was earlier in Jesus's life. He was very special, and his job was to prepare people for Jesus. Now this question Jesus asks is smart because the chief priests know that they've been caught out. If they say that John's baptism was of heaven, was from God, then they look bad because they didn't believe John. But if they say that John's baptism was from human origin, then they'll have a huge number of people mad at them because John had a lot of followers and people knew that he was a prophet. So they answer the only way they can and they say that they just don't know it's a bit of a cop-out. And so Jesus doesn't answer their question either. Where does Jesus' authority come from? Well, we know Jesus is the Son of God, and God the Father has given him all authority in heaven and on earth. All of creation knows that Jesus is Lord of all, and even demons are scared of his power and authority. But this truth is hidden from some of the people, and they can't see that Jesus is the Son of God. What does this mean for our lives? This passage tells us a lot about Jesus's authority. And that should be something that we remember in our own lives and something that comforts us. We know that Jesus is the Son of God and he has the power to do anything. But we also know that he says if we pray in his name, then he will listen. Isn't it amazing to know that our prayers will be listened to by someone who has all the power over earth and heaven? This is something that's especially great to remember. If we ever feel scared or worried about something, we can always pray in Jesus' name and God will protect us and give us the strength and wisdom we need to overcome it. What are we gonna learn about next time? Next time, Jesus tells us a story about some tenants at a vineyard. Tune in next time to see what he means. Now it's time for the memory verse. Today's memory verse comes from Matthew, chapter 28, verse 18, and it's about Jesus's authority. It says this, Jesus came to them and said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. So let's say that again. Jesus came to them and said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Now it's time for the craft. Today, we're making a special Jesus themed rainbow hanger. For today's craft you will need a paper plate, a sheet of paper, some cotton wool, you can use balls of cotton wool but I'm using these cotton wool pads, some scissors, remember to always be careful with scissors and ask an adult for help if you need, some glue, you can use a glue stick or PVA, either works fine, a hole punch, some string, some coloured pens, pencils, paints or pastels, and finally a marker pen. Now let's get cracking with the craft. First, take your plain paper and your coloured pens or pastels and colour in rainbow strips, just like I'm doing here. Don't worry if they're a little messy, we're going to cut them out.
Once you've coloured your rainbow strips, take your scissors and carefully cut them into individual strips, ideally of roughly the same length and thickness. Then put those to one side and take your paper plate. First cut the paper plate in half like this. Then take your hole punch and punch a hole at the top of the semicircle. Then take your coloured strips and your glue and glue them down along the straight edge of the plate. Just like I'm doing here. Now it's time to make our clouds. Take your cotton wool and your glue and stick it down in cloud-like shapes all over your paper plate, leaving a small border at the top of the semicircle. Keep doing this until you've made a nice big cloud on top of your rainbow strips. Then take your marker pen and write all authority belongs to Jesus at the top along the semicircle. Finally take some string and thread it through the hole you punched. Tie it in a loop and now our rainbow hanger is finished, ready to be hung up somewhere special. Well, what a great craft. Do send through any pictures of your crafts or questions to the email in the description below. But for now, it's time for another song, and it's called Show Respect to the Sun by John Hardwick. Do sing along. Well, we're running out of time now, so we're going to end in a short prayer. If you'd like to make it yours, please join in with the Amen at the end. Dear Lord, thank you that you have all the authority over heaven and earth. Help us to be people who call out to you and trust in you and your power and authority. Amen. Amen. Well, that's all we have time for. Do tune in next time when Jesus tells us about some tenants. But for now, that's bye from me. And it's bye from Zelda. And we'll see you in the next video.